Hi, I'm Tim with Ecofoil, and today I would like to address a question that we get fairly regularly here, which is, what is a radiant barrier? Well, this is a piece of an Ecofoil radiant barrier. It's about eight thousandths of an inch thick, which doesn't seem very thick, but it doesn't need to be, because unlike a traditional insulation where you're going for that added thickness to achieve a certain R value, with a radiant barrier, what you're really trying to do is reflect that radiant heat back towards its source. And ecofoil radiant barriers will reflect over 96% of that radiant heat back towards its source. They also have a very low emissive value, which means that only 3 to 4% of that heat that comes in contact with the radiant barrier is transferred to, through, and emitted from the other side. So the vast majority of that heat is being reflected back towards its source. Now, how does this work? Well, with the ecofoil radiant barrier, both sides have a layer of 99.9% .9 pure aluminum which is extremely reflective. That's where you get the reflectivity and the very low rate of emissivity. In the center of this product, between the two layers of the foil, is a layer of woven polyester. That's where the product gets its strength. It's very tear resistant. As you can see, it's very hard to tear. But it is relatively easy to cut with scissors or utility knife, which makes it a good product for professionals or do-it-yourselfers. It's pretty easy to install, pretty easy to work with, very pliable but it also has some, some strength and durability, so it will support itself. Now, you have a couple different options with the radiant barrier. You've got a solid, which works well for stapling under the rafters, or where a vapor barrier might be desirable, such as a basement wall. The ecofoil radiant barriers do not absorb water. They're water resistant, which means they won't promote mold growth or bacterial growth. The other option that you have is a perforated radiant barrier. The perforated product has small pinholes which allow moisture vapor to pass through. This is important if you're considering installing a radiant barrier on your attic floor over your existing insulation. The perforated product will allow that moist air to pass through the radiant barrier as it tries to escape up through the ceiling into the attic. So you don't need to worry about condensation or anything like that on the bottom of the barrier. It'll pass right through. Now, Ecofoil radiant barriers are one of the only radiant barriers to pass the latest standards for ASTM Class 1, Class A fire rating. That's ASTM E8409. That's important to know because that's going to help slow the spread of fire in your home should there be a fire. And Ecofoil radiant barriers are proud that we're one of the only products that can pass this latest, most strict standard. If you have any questions on that or any of the other things that I've described here today, please check us out online at ecofoil.com or give us a call at 888-DIY-FOIL. Thank you.